stand, please, and sing with me from your heart. Oh, come on, you faithful, everybody. Thank you. Do you have a bulletin with you? You will need a bulletin in this service today. I trust you have it because we're getting ready to read responsively. I will read where it says leader and you will respond where it says the people and then we read together. First of all, we want to welcome you who are here today and the many who are worshiping with us online as well. It's so interesting and neat to hear each week different ones that I meet or we talk to online and they tell us about how they enjoy our service and worship with us online. And so we welcome them as a part of this service and great to have all of you here this morning and uh, and the Lord richly bless you. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Those who dwelt in the land of deep darkness, on them has light shined. We have beheld Christ's glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father. For to us a child is born. To us, 
a son is given. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you.
Yes, sir. Yes. You may be seated if you'd like to, and let's bow our heads together and look to the Lord in prayer this morning, and remember this very special need today as well. We thank you, our Father, for the wonderful privilege that is ours to come on this beautiful Christmas Eve Sunday morning and to worship Christ the Lord. We thank you for your goodness, for your mercy to us each and every day. We thank you, Lord, for loving us with such an incredible love that you sent Jesus in Bethlehem to be our Savior. We thank you, Lord, for this beautiful time, for the wonderful truths, the power and the the knowledge to know that Jesus Christ is Lord of all. And we worship you today. We bless your name, Father. We thank you today, O oh God, that we can bring all of our burdens and our cares to you because you care about us, you love us, you know where we are, you know the things that we have need of today, Lord. And so, Father, I pray that in this service today, you would comfort hearts and lives. You would speak healing to hearts and lives. There's all kinds of situations that we find ourselves in in different points in life. And you know where we are and the things we have need today. So would you speak your peace to us? And remind us of how much you've done for us and we give you thanks and we give you praise for what you've done and Lord still yet today we find ourselves in need of a Savior to bring hope and help to our situations to our bodies to our minds speak peace today Father I pray that you would have your right of way in this service may this be a day when we are so well reminded of the beautiful story of salvation's plan that you had ordained before time ever began. And so, Lord, you knew this world would need a Savior. And so you loved this world so much, you sent the only one of his kind, the Son of God, to be our Savior. Greater love has no man than this that he should lay down his life for his friends. And because you have laid down your life and done so much for us, 
if we will put our faith and our trust in you, we know that we have a new life and we can walk in a new way today in the way of God. We bless you. We think about this Pastor Brother Spears and and today he has a note of victory and he's in his own pulpit today but his wife is spending Christmas with you and so would you bring comfort and peace to that family. And Lord, I just thank you for Jesus. Thank you for your love. Thank you that for all you've done for us. Open our minds to your word. Let us apply your word and let your word ha- find root in our life today. In the powerful and in the mighty name of Jesus, we bring all these things to you. And all of God's people said, Amen and Amen. We're going to ask our ushers if they would to come and wait upon us this morning for his tithes and our offerings. And the Lord bless you in the faithfulness of your giving because you have given. Today we have helped to serve so many different places. I heard a great testimony this week. I like to give you bragging rights. And did you know Southeast Church of the Nazarene is known in our community as a giving church? as a friendly church, as a church that is concerned and committed to its community. I mean, we host three scout troops. We have ministered to the Downtown Rescue Mission, Salvation Army, Rainbow Omega Home for uh, adults that are special needs and have no one else to care for them. We support and bless the uh, Big Oak Ranch for young children that have no place else to go, and they take them in. This church is known. I heard it again this week, not from church circles. I heard it outside of church circles. I don't care what the church circles say. I want to know what does the other people think about us. And they're the ones that saying this church is known for its friendliness, for its giving, and it's community mind. That's a powerful thing, church. And I, we do that because we want people to know Jesus and love Jesus. Amen? Amen? So I want you to rejoice in that and experience what God's doing for us. Let's pray. Father, bless in the giving of tithes and offerings, we pray. And bless each one in Jesus' name. Amen.
In the sixth month, the angel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end.
Shall we stand and sing, please? The first Noel, the angels did say, was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay, in fields where they lay keeping their sheep on a cold winter's night that was so deep. No. there were shepherds in that region living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock the angel of the lord appeared to them and the glory of the lord shone around them and they were struck with great fear the angel said to them do not be afraid for behold i proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people for today in the city of david a savior has been born for you who is messiah and lord and this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly hosts with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Come and let's celebrate. Stand with me if you can. Angels, we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plains, and the mountains in reply, echoing their joy strains. Oh, 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 o
we'll give him praise. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated. When the angels went away from them to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go then to Bethlehem to see the things that have taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went in haste and found Mary and Joseph and the infant laying in the manger. They saw this, and they made, they made known the message that had been told to them of the child. All who heard were amazed by what had been told to them by the shepherds, and Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told.
John 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God, and all things were made through Him, and without Him nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John, and this man came for a witness, to bear witness of the light that all through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of the true light. That was the true light which gives light to every man coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and yet the world did not know him. He came to his own. And his own did not receive him, but as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become the children of God, to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh. And he dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. At just the right time, God sent forth his Son, born of a woman, God sent His Son, the Word, to become flesh. And He entered into our neighborhood, and He lives in our world to show us the way to God. He's the light, and follow His light that you might have life here and life eternal. May God bless the reading of his word. Sing, everybody. Silent night. Oh, dear. 
A little differently today and Ginger's gonna have to stop playing for this to happen and Tom would you escort your wife and daughter to the front here and Wally will you bring Ginger and come over here Dana will you come down here with Campbell and Austin and Brianna Y'all come on together. This is your pastoral team, which, by the way, you board affirmed another four years of and uh, so we are proud to be your pastoral team it's not just me it's all of us working together with all of you and it's a joy and a privilege to be your team and I thank God for each one of these couldn't do it without them so from all of us to all of you Merry Christmas And God richly bless you. And may the humility of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the joy of the angels, and the peace of the Christ child be God's gift to you and yours this Christmas time and always. In Jesus' name, amen. Would you stand together? Let's sing that first verse. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin mother and child.
God bless you. Have a great Christmas. You are dismissed. Thank mm-hmm. you.